Hello viewers, welcome back again. We are rounding up the topic Prophet Amos and uh, so far we have looked at a number of issues on Amos. We did look at uh, the background call of uh, Prophet Amos. We came to visions of Amos, we looked at a number of them, talk of the vision of uh, the, the crooked wall and the plumb line, talk of a ripe uh, basket of fruits, right? talk of locusts, talk of fire. Then we also came to uh, judgment on the Israel and other nations. We also talked of uh, the teachings of Prophet Amos. We also looked at, um, at uh, the remnant and the tradition and also Amos teaching on Israel election. Now today class, we get to look at the relevance of Amos teaching to Christians today. Now, what do you expect by the end of the lesson class? We do expect that we are able to state the relevance, the, re the, the relevance of Amos teaching to Christians today. Welcome all and let us learn. Your tutor is Roger Mishira and the station you're watching is ABM TV. Now the message of the prophecy of Amos was relevant to Christians today. How was the, the, the message of prophet Amos relevant? Now it was relevant in a number of ways. One, the message that God hates hypocrisy is very clear. Remember Amos talked about hypocrisy, right? Now thus, Christians should also be truthful, uh, truthful and practice what they preach, right? They must worship God in sincerity. They must have to worship God in sincerity. That was what Prophet Amos taught about, hypocrisy. There was also an issue of self-indulgency, self-indulgency, whereby Christians should not pursue luxury and self-indulgency when others lack the basic needs. Right? Look at what happened in Israel. Right? The rich looked upon, down upon the poor. Right? So let us not live that luxury life when others lack some of the basic needs. What about uh, bribery? Christians should condemn bribery and uh, corruption and also uphold justice. Remember these are vice that are most condemned in Israel. The issue of uh, bribery. Right? Uh, corruption in the courts, whereby the poor do not give, did not get justice, right? This is also an issue of punishment. Remember what uh, God, um, the punishment God gave to Israel and other nations, right? Divine fire, talk of Israel being taken into exile, talk of uh, earthquakes, famine. Now Christians should bear in mind that God will punish every evil, and no one is going to evade God's judgment. Also, the issue of uh, wealth. When Israel became wealth, they departed from the covenant way of living, right? Remember, they had agreed to live by the covenant ways. But again, when they became wealth, they divided, right, from the covenant way of living. Now, Christians should share their wealth with the needy and acquire their wealth justly. Look at uh, the merchants. They could sell and standard goods, right? Talk of the scales, maybe they were to tighten the scales, good. That is honesty, wealthy, right? So Christians should share their wealth with the needy and also they need to acquire their wealth in a just way. Then there's also an issue of hypocritical religion. I almost thought about hypocrisy in religion. This was an example of offering empty sacrifices. Christians also have to learn to be sincere to be concerned about the internal well-being and also the issue of uh, outward observance of religion, right? Whatever we do, right, we should all, always do it in service of the Lord. Let us not be offering sacrifices, but in the real sense, we don't uphold justice. And finally, the issue of drunkenness, whereby Christians should not engage in activities that can divert their faith from God. God, if that happens, they should learn always to repent but again also we have not talked about the issue of um, sexual morality whereby in, in Israel we saw Amos teaching of sexual morality right the issue of uh, a father and a son sharing the same uh, the same woman right they talked about the issue of temple prostitution that was in Israel those are some of the evils that Amos condemned and they are relevant to, to Christians today for a reference class can we get can you for, for a task can you get to state what some of the lessons that Christians learned from the teaching of Prophet Amos. 
And as always, your reference book is Christian Religious Education Students Book, KLB, the third edition. This was your favorite channel, LMU TV, where you get to watch and learn. Get into contact with us or via contact address, YouTube at LMU TV, Twitter at LMU TV underscore Kenya, and also Facebook LMU TV. As always, this was your favorite channel, LMU TV, the station you get to watch and learn.